Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT plus Google Docs. So starting out, GPT plus Google Docs uses ChatGPT by OpenAI to insert responses into your Google Docs. So after you have downloaded the add-on, you want to head to extensions. And then over here, as you can see, the add-on will pop up now. And from here, click on start. And the small window should pop up on the right. And this is where you'll be configuring everything. So starting off, I want to make... I want to make something so i'm going to ask it to write me a letter for my co-worker and now once i've done that for the gpt tab there are some topics first topic is summarize fix grammar change the tone custom prompt or translate we can translate it to another language so i want to change the tone so what i'm going to going to do is select it now i'm going to make i want to make the tone funny now what i do is i'm going to highlight my request and from here i'm going to click on submit and once you see click to see gpt response it has officially finished as you can see it's not popping up on my screen that is because i have insert response to end document turned off what this basically does is if you turn it on what it will do is it will write it will write the response in your document. So once I once I check the box, I'm going to click on submit again. And as you can see, the response is inserted into my Google Doc. But if you have this box unchecked, then you can head over to click to see GPT response. And if you hover over it, as you can see, it says it used 151 tokens and it took and it took 6.156 seconds to actually generate the response itself. And we can also look at the model text, which is DaVinci 003, which is one of the most powerful texts. And if you click on it, as you can see, we got the response right here too. From here, you can click insert at the end of the document, which will insert it into your Google Doc, or you can copy to your clipboard. As you can see, it says action history, which shows what you have done using this add-on as you can see i made two tone actions which one of them took 5.974 seconds and the other took 6.156 seconds and you can always clear this by clicking clear now moving on to additional settings this is where you can also configure extra settings for example you can change the model from text da vinci to text ada but i'm going to keep it da vinci since it's the most powerful temperature is the accuracy of the response and by keeping it at zero i'm making the responses 100 percent accurate if you want to make it less accurate you can turn it up you can make it 0 0.1 but i'm just going to keep it at zero over here you got the max response tokens so you can change the setting you can make it 1000 you can make it 2000 what it does is when you request something for example a letter it will use maximum of 1001 response which is which is what i inputted and the maximum the max input you can make is 4000 the pricing is in the website as you can see we got ada which is the fastest and it uses 0 0.0004 dollars for 1000 tokens and we got da vinci which is the most powerful which is which is what i'm using in my google docs you can also check the copy response to clipboard what it will does is once the response has been generated by chat gpt it will automatically copy it to your clipboard so you don't have to highlight it and copy it yourself and you can also add your own user api key by adding your user API key, you'll use your own uh, tokens in this add-on. Your API key is not public to anyone. You're the only one who can see your API key info. We do not store it anywhere. You can get your API key from your account in OpenAI and copy it and paste it here. And once you have pasted your API key, you can click on save and then exit out of here.